Welcome to Ethiopia. We've just had a shaky start crossing into the uh, crossing the border. Yeah, they were very thorough um, to say the least. They basically checked everything. Yeah, very good at check, and they noticed that our corn expired is expiring on the 5th of October. Mm, um, the first time if anybody has checked the dates. Yeah, first impressions is um, very green, a lot greener than what I thought, and it's, yeah, it's raining, so... Yeah, and a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah. Very dirty compared to other countries, <laughs> a little bit chaotic. You can definitely feel that you are in North Africa now. You have to drive on the other side of the road, and the, oh, yes. that toilet <laughs> and the customs is terribly dirty. Oh, very, very smelly toilet. So, a mixed bag. Let's see what Ethiopia brings. Pleasant Four Wheels want to share our adventures on Patreon and YouTube. Join us as we travel our wonderful world. Clear our posts. Lou and Karin would love you to experience adventure people places. Subscribe to our Patreon page or YouTube and come along on our adventures. Our first stop north of the border was Lake Langano, a Bilharzia free lake due to the minerals in the water that kills the Bilharzia germs. While we were in Addis Ababa, we stopped at the cultural restaurant one evening and were entertained by dancing and singing while we sipped on cash or sweet yellow honey wine and ate lamb tips and injera. It was a lively and highly entertaining evening. We then headed north from Addis Ababa and wild camped and it was the only wild camp in our whole time in Ethiopia. We really appreciated the great scenery with the farmlands over the Blue Nile Gorge. The road conditions was quite challenging as we got used to all the animals on the roads. The next day we continued north as we drove through the spectacular views of the Blue Nile Gorge which is a descent of 1400 meters and 10 kilometers. The tar road was very corrugated and there were a lot of trucks in the road so it took very long. We had a hard day driving yesterday, driving north, still heading north and um, we at Bahar Dar um, on Lake Tana. We had a room last night because we arrived in the dark and this morning when we got back to Fudu we had some a table set up for us to have coffee. Nice hospitality from the Ethiopian people. We are struggling a bit with Ethiopia, but yeah, this this helps. Any words of wisdom this morning, Annie? I'm good and clean and fresh. Two, she, she's had two showers in one day, yeah. which is exceptional. Normally, one shower in four days. And this is um, the coffee that we get. Sugar, yes, just a little bit, please. Water yeah. The coffee gets brewed in that little yeah. cup and you get incense coming with. Thank you, yes, and it's black and it's nice. I'm not supposed to drink coffee, but I've been drinking coffee for the last two months and the Italian coffee is brilliant. Thanks, Ethiopia. Arriving in the town of Gondor, we had our first taste of the chaotic streets of Ethiopia and it was quite a challenge navigating the Tak Tak. So today we are in the city of Gondor, northern Ethiopia, mm -hmm. getting our museum fix. Yeah. Karin is piling in the museum hours. Our museum fit. Uh, yes, we are at Fazal Gedi, uh, monuments dating back from 1632. 
This is really the, f the se only the second historical monument that wasn't built by the colonial powers since we were at Giri Ruins on the coast of Kenya. Um, if you haven't seen the episode, I will link it below, link it above. Um, and shame on you if you haven't watched it. It was a brilliant episode. I uh, I could use some drone footage there. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can fly my drone. So what have you got to share about oh. Fuzzle Getty, sweetie? Pie? So this is located in in the town or in the city. Um, it's very peaceful here. I'm, I'm not sure whether it's more peaceful because there's so many people on the road. So it's this is nice. It's like Nirvana. Um, yeah, and just different types of structures. Unfortunately, they did try to fix some of them the incorrect way, but it's actually still something, something to think. Some, some, it's definitely something to think about. And yeah, and to appreciate this, mm. there's about seven different castles from different rulers dating from. There's a from lion's den oh. for six lions. <laughs> the next to David's castle. So I don't know. Maybe David's is fuck. So David said, "Fitzik, yeah, you play So seven emperors built castles in an archive. There's a um, hot bath or a hot springs. The, no, bath. no, no. What did they? The bath. They just called it the baths. Yeah. The so bath. we think it might have been um, hot springs. And then some of the castles looks like it's been renovated, and somebody stayed here in the 1930s. Yeah, they it's did got they the windows. They did renovate it incorrectly yeah. in the 1930s. Mm. But now, slowly but surely, they renovate it in the correct way. Okay, so it's a bittersweet, mm -hmm. sad and happy day in the Phyllis on Four Wheels team. We are turning around. Yeah, we're at more or less the most northern point in Ethiopia. And now we're going to slowly start heading south. Yes. Luckily, we're not going to do the same route back, so it will still be all new to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't, don't want to go home. I don't want to turn around. I want to keep going. How many kilometers? I don't know, 7,500. Not enough. <laughs> but we'll, we'll show you. We'll show you how we progress back home. It was fascinating to see the religious ceremonies next to the road. People were walking and traveling by horse from far away to attend these ceremonies. The people all wore traditional Ethiopian white garments and the horses were decorated with colorful tusks. Coming live from La Bella Church, Church of King George at the back. Been an interesting day. Lots of stairs. Lots of churches. <laughs> yeah. Um, the most museum filled day I think we've had on the trip. Karin could go into the churches. Some holy man told me I'm not allowed to go in in the wheelchair, even if I take my shoes off. So impressions, honey? Um, well, it's quite amazing that these people carved out churches out of hell. Like in a million years, if it wasn't for the angels helped them. Yeah, they claimed the angels helped them in the evening. Yeah, so, mm, yeah. Mind blowing. Bad a lot of time. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> Karin's starving. We haven't. We didn't have lunch. And it's um, interesting that the churches are still in use. Um, and there's a quite a mix between um, the tourists and people actually using the the churches all the time. The first time I've actually seen it like that. And the locals doesn't seem to mind. I'm not sure if they actually do. But obviously it's a source of income for the whole town and the area and the supplies work and um, so yeah, interesting mix of tourists and people that consider a place very holy. The only wildlife we saw in our old time in Ethiopia was galada or bleeding heart monkeys. These are vegetarian baboons that live in big troops high in the mountains. The hourglass shaped color on their chest changes depending on their breeding pattern. Driving in Ethiopia was very intense. We saw loads of overturned trucks and at least five dead hyenas and horses and probably 30 dead dogs. Next time on Fearless on Four Wheels. We run into a landslide on our way to Omo Valley and visit the market day with the Hammer Tribe.